All right, it is time for the urinary system. Hello, kidney. You're cute. You know, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so we're going to start off with the functions and the gross anatomy of the urinary system, kidneys, especially the kidneys, and then we'll work our way to the uh, histology and uh, other things about the system. All right, so functions. Your urinary system is so incredibly important. First of all, its job is to take out the trash. Okay, It is going to filter waste out of the bloodstream and produce urine from the waste. The liver's job is to detoxify things that could damage your tissues that are in your bloodstream. But your liver can't remove anything from the body. That's the job of the kidneys. That's why kidneys are so incredibly important. Without kidneys, you can't remove waste from the body, uh, from the bloodstream. So. Uh, they're going to then store, and uh, the urinary system is then going to store and then excrete that urine out of the body. By controlling the amount of water in the blood, your kidneys have an incredibly important role in regulating the amount of the, the blood volume, which is directly related to the blood pressure. So the, the amount of water in the blood is a function of the blood volume, which is a function of the blood pressure. When your blood pressure is low, your kidneys are going to uh, hang on to as much water as possible and lose as little in the urine. Now, the kidneys can't make water appear, okay? They can only save as much as possible of what's already in the body. And remember, they do, your body does need to get rid of waste. So some urine need, does need to be made, some water does need to be lost. If your blood pressure is too high, uh, the kidneys can get rid of excess water. And so your urine will be less concentrated. Blood pressure too low, your kidneys can circle, can. Uh, excuse me, signal to the brain that you're thirsty um, to get more water into the body. So they have a really important role in regulating your blood pressure. They're also going to uh, produce hormones that spur the production of red blood cells if oxygen levels are low. So they're going to be constantly measuring uh, oxygen levels. And then they are going to regulate ion balance and maintain the pH balance in the blood. So this is actually something that uh, the pH balance is also involves the respiratory system. And you're going to talk a lot more about that in physiology. But in this class, what you need to know is that the kidneys can remove excess ions from the blood, either hydrogen ions or hydroxide ions or any other ions that would have an effect on the pH of the blood in order to maintain the, the blood pH within a very narrow range that's healthy. All right, so the anatomy of the urinary system starts with the kidneys. The kidneys sit uh, retroperitoneal behind the peritoneal um, uh, cavity uh, on either side of the aorta and inferior vena cava. They are connected to the bladder by ureters. Each one has a ureter. They carry, ureters carry the urine <laughs> to the bladder. That's how you remember ureter. Uh, the urethra then expels the urine. And the way you're going to distinguish between the ureters and the urethra, first of all, there's two ureters, one urethra. Second, ureters carry, carry the urine to the bladder. And after you use the urethra, you say, ah. So you can remember it's the urethra. See? Silly, but you'll remember it. All right. The urinary tract is the ureters, the bladder, and the urethra without the kidneys. Okay, so if you have a urinary tract infection, it's an infection of somewhere in that pathway. If, it, if the infection gets to the kidneys, then you have a kidney infection. This is what it all looks like in a cadaver. You can see the kidneys very clearly visible. Um, and you can see the ureters here and here. The bladder is actually a lot more, uh, 
a lot more muscular and has a much thicker wall than we would expect. But that's what the uh, that's what the urinary bladder actually looks like. Now from the back, um, I just I wanted to include this so that you can see how posterior the kidneys are. They're right here next to the twelfth rib, and they aren't protected by the twelfth rib. Now the external anatomy of the kidney, they have a tough fibrous capsule outside that maintains the shape of the kidney and helps to protect it from pathogens or trauma and helps to connect it to other tissues so that the kidney stays in place. The indented medial border is called the hilum. You remember the lungs also each have a hilum and that's just an indented area where blood vessels and other things come and go. In this case, blood vessels, nerves, and the ureters. So this is what that looks like on our models in the classroom. Here are the two kidneys. These things on top, these are the adrenal glands, okay? The hilum is this indented part. Of course, this is the aorta and the vena cava. Hang on, I thought the aorta was on the left side. Why is it on the right? It's because we're looking at this one from the back, okay? Um, this is the ureters here, and then they go to the bladder there. And then this is one of our torso models from the front. You can see the kidneys there with the adrenal glands there. Spleen, don't get it mixed up with the kidneys. Uh, renal artery and vein there and there. Ureters coming down here to the bladder, and then the urethra going to the outside. In our next segment, we'll talk about the internal gross anatomy of the kidney, and then we'll start talking about the how fluids flow through the kidneys and the histology.